And I watch this. Professor Robert P. George, the McCormick Professor of Jurisprudence at Princeton University, visited Sydney recently as keynote speaker at John Paul II Leaders Forum. Praised by US Supreme Court Justice and former Harvard Law School Dean, Eleanor Kagan, as one of the nation's most respected legal theorists. He is a celebrated author of 14 books and numerous articles. Reminding the professor that on the previous evening he had accurately predicted not only the appointment but also its timing, I asked him why he thought Mitt Romney's nomination of Paul Ryan as his vice presidential running mate was a superb choice. This was his answer. It was an extremely bold decision by uh, Governor Romney to uh, choose Paul Ryan as his running mate. Uh, I think a good decision, but a very bold decision for a couple of reasons. First, uh, Ryan is young. Uh, he is 42 uh, years old. Uh, he's not inexperienced. He has been a member of the United States Congress since he was 28 years old, and in the past few years has been chairman of the very important committee in the House of Representatives, the, the Budget Committee. He is, uh, by anyone's account, uh, the leading expert uh, in the Congress on the budget and on financial and economic uh, matters. But uh, his, his, his youth, the fact that he is not a former governor or United States senator, makes it a bold pick. The other thing that makes it a bold pick is this. Ryan has, quite courageously, spoken out consistently and loudly on the need for the reform of our large middle class entitlement programs the need for the reform of those programs in order to save them because frankly they are going bankrupt. They're on a trajectory to go over the cliff uh, unless something is done quickly because now the baby boom generation uh, will be calling in the chips on those entitlements and the money simply is not there in the younger generation, your generation, uh, to pay for the retirements uh, and the medical care of, uh, of the baby boom generation as it retires. Uh, now that's a dangerous thing uh, to make an issue of in American politics. It's going to have to be faced, but most politicians would like to dodge it because it means making hard choices. Are we going to cut benefits? Are we going to raise the retirement age or the age at which one uh, can begin collecting uh, benefits? Some very hard choices that have to be made. And Ryan's willing to talk about those choices and to propose solutions, solutions that not everyone is going to, uh, to like. So in choosing Representative Ryan to be his, his vice presidential running mate, Romney has uh, uh, faced up to the fact that his Democratic opponents, President Obama and Vice President Biden, will try to depict the Romney-Ryan ticket as an enemy of the entitlement programs that, in fact, they're trying to save. And they will demagogue the issue. I, we, we've gotten into the habit of using uh, the term demagogue as a verb in the United States. That's, that's bad, but we do it. Uh, they'll demagogue the issue, and they will attempt to scare elderly people who, in truth, have nothing to worry about under any reforms that Ryan or Ryan and Romney would propose because the Ryan plan, which is now at the center of the debate in American politics for entitlement reforms, would leave in place the current uh, terms, including benefits, for anyone 55 or over. They are not affected. Obama and Biden will attempt to deceive people into believing, elderly people, into believing that they will be affected. But as a matter of fact, they will not be affected. The effects will only be on people under 55. Uh, and I think those are people who will see the wisdom and uh, prudence of the Ryan plan, because unless the reforms being proposed by uh, Congressman Ryan are made, or something very much like them, then there simply will be no entitlement programs, because there will be no money for the younger generation. And of course, Paul Ryan is uh, very solid on uh, family issues, um, and of course that will attract uh, a certain uh, demographic in the Christian community and so on. How is uh, that going to be perceived more widely? Well, I think it's going to be a big asset. I, I, I think that uh, Ryan's strong, consistent stance in favor of the sanctity of human life in all stages and conditions. 
and uh, the dignity of marriage as the uh, conjugal union of husband and wife will be a big asset because those remain issues on which uh, there is a majority of Americans supporting his position. A majority of Americans now say that they're pro-life, that there's been some growth in that over recent years. Uh, a majority still honor the conjugal definition of marriage, which is why, uh, although there are some polls that are touted uh, that claim the contrary, it's why uh, 32 times in 32 states, every state that has uh, permitted the issue to go to the people, uh, the historic conjugal conception of marriage as union of husband and wife has prevailed. So the fact that Ryan is strong on these issues and consistent on these issues uh, will, help the, uh, uh, will help the ticket. It'll be especially helpful because Governor Romney's own record uh, on the issues uh, is a bit spotty. Romney is a convert to the pro-life cause. For most of his political career, he was on the so-called pro-choice side of the uh, equation. Not strongly, not, uh, not vociferously, but nevertheless uh, on the side that favored legal abortion um, and even its public funding. He had a conversion during his uh, period of, as governor when he was facing the issue of embryo destructive research, the killing of embryos uh, uh, for uh, scientific research. And he invited in a couple of prominent scientists uh, who, as it happened, favored the research. We're trying to support the governor uh, or encourage the governor to, uh, to um, stand behind that research. But he asked them a series of questions about the beginnings of human life, about the status, the biological status of the uh, uh, early embryo. Uh, and when he heard the answers, he realized that we have a human life here from the very earliest stages, that an embryo is not something distinct from a human being or different from a human being. The way a, a rock or a potato or a rhinoceros is something different, distinct in kind from a human being. But rather, a human embryo is simply a human being at a very early stage of development, the embryonic stage of development, just as a, a, a fetal human being is a human being or an infant human being is a human being or an adolescent human being is a human being. Those terms, embryo and fetus and infant and adolescent and adult, don't name different things. They name the same thing at different mm -hmm. stages of, uh, of development. Well, once Governor Romney became persuaded of that on the basis of the science, mind you, not on the basis of the Bible uh, or the teachings of any church uh, or the uh, Book of Mormon. He is himself a, a member of the Mormon faith, the Latter-day Saints uh, faith. But on the basis of the science, once he understood the biological facts of human embryogenesis and early uh, development, uh, he realized he was on the wrong side and needed to flip over to be a defender of human life in all stages and conditions. But since his record has historically not been on the pro-life side, some pro-life people were suspicious that his conversion was not sincere. Mm. By choosing a strong and consistent pro-life individual, Paul Ryan, he will shore up that strong element of his base. Uh, similarly on the marriage question, uh, Paul Ryan has consistently been uh, an advocate for conjugal marriage. Marriage is the union of husband and wife, the, uh, the, the male-female bond, the covenant. Uh, and uh, Governor Romney has uh, historically been on that side, although on uh, some other issues that uh, uh, pertain to uh, sexuality and uh, especially in teaching in schools and so forth, uh, he's been uh, of a more liberal uh, uh, frame of mind. Uh, I think again by choosing someone as solid on these issues as Ryan, he will reassure the conservative base of the country, and that is very large. America is still fundamentally a center-right country. He will reassure the conservative base of the country that they can trust him. Well, that's very he's, given them, I mean, he's given them reason now to trust him. That's the way I would mm -hmm. put it. Ryan represents concrete reason mm -hmm. for conservatives, evangelicals, Catholics, Orthodox Jews, Mormons, Muslims, for people who have conservative views on these social and moral issues to support Governor Romney.